Welcome back. So before we continue, we need to kind of understand why this has not been tested yet. And actually the problem is we are not even testing this part. We're not testing this at all, any of the NGON in it. Right now, every time we need products in our setup, we just go in and manually set these products up here, pretty much just disregarding whatever happens in this area down here. Now we need to change that because it means that right now we are not testing that we are calling get products at all in our component. And that's of course bad because if we're not calling get products, we're not going to show anything on our page. So we need a test that we called get products, right? That we're calling that one. So let's try and jump back to our code right here. And just to show you my point, I'll just remove all the code in the ngon init just to show you. So even though right now I'm not calling at all the get product uh, on the product service, you'll notice that all my test still passes. So it, it says no problem, I don't care. And the reason for that is that we've actually gone in manually ourselves right now and just added directly on the product component, uh, the component products right here, we've added just the products without the NGON in it. So we don't even care if that's called. It, it doesn't matter for us right now. And that's a bad thing. That's something we need to change. So if we go back to our product list component right here, let's just get the on init back. We need to make sure that at least when we call the on init, we are calling this method right here one time, right? So we need to figure out that that's called one time, this method right here. Now, how do we do that? Well, luckily we are spying on that specific method. So if we go to the top right here, you'll notice that we created this spy right here and the spy we created has a method get product. Now, another thing we'll notice is that that method right here will actually return an empty array. So we can actually spy and say, I expect that when NT on it is called, when this guy is called right here, I expect that this method get products should have been called at least once. How do we do that? Well, let's try and jump into our spec file right here and let's go down to the test that I just created right here and let's just try and paste it in. I have made a small test just to prepare myself a little bit so you guys shouldn't see me jumping around that test. So now we're pretty much saying should call get products one uh, on the product service one time on ng on init. So let's try and see if that's the case. So here's what I expect. I expect and I'll use my product service mock, the one that I just showed you in the top. I want to look at the get products, the function that I expect is called and I expect that has been called exactly one time. That's how simple it is to test a mock right there. So let's try and save this and see if it actually worked. Hopefully I'll now get a passing test that this guy's called exactly one time on ng on init. So why is it called? I haven't called ng on init anywhere in my code right here. So let's try and have a look. The reason that it's called is because when you call detect changes up here in the top with the before each, the very first one, this guy actually calls ng on init. That's why you see that it's been called exactly once. So ng on it has already been called right here. Okay, so let's try and go down to the button and let's try just for the fun of it and call fixture dot ng on init once more. Uh, sorry, component ng on init because you can call that directly yourself. We'll use that later because I just want to call on init once more. And now hopefully this count, whoops, wrong place. Whoops, there we go. Now hopefully this count is now two. If I call it again, let's just go down here. Expect it to be two. Let's try and see if that's the case. They all pass again. So just to show you guys that this function will be called every time now that I call ng on init. So let's just get rid of this guy. And just for the fun of it, let's call it a few times. Boom, boom, boom. Now it should have been called four times. So my point is just, this is how easy it is to test with mocks that we actually call the functions, right? So now it's been called four times, but that's not the one we want to actually test. So let's just get rid of all these on init and let's just do a single call right here. And then next lesson we'll try and dive into how we can actually asynchronously figure out what should happen when it's been called with specific information. So that's it for this lesson. See you next time. Have fun.